Norwegian law requires, through the Animal Welfare Act and the Aquaculture Operations Regulations, that farmed fish must always have sufficient feed and that the feed must contain the necessary nutrients to promote the welfare and health of the fish. It is important that the feed use is adapted to the species being produced. All species in fish farming must have a suitable feed that suits their needs. The feed must also be adapted to the fish's life stage, both in terms of feed composition and pellet size. The fish must basically be fed every day. It is important that the feed is easily accessible to the fish in the cage, without the fish being injured during feeding. For example, there are several feeding methods and solutions. Surface feeding, underwater feeding, wet feed, dry feed, and feed with different sink rates. There is also great variation in the type of feed spreaders. It is important to find the solution that works best for each individual location. A method that is best for one location is not necessarily the best method for fish in other locations. When moving fish to new tanks or transferring them to sea cages, it is recommended to hand feed the fish for a period after deployment. This ensures that you reach all the fish, even those that may have had slightly greater challenges in adapting. In some stages of the production cycle, it is necessary to starve the fish and you are then exempted from the obligation to feed while this is going on. The starvation period should still be as short as possible. In connection with transport, the fish are starved to reduce oxygen demand and increase stress tolerance, as well as to improve the quality of the transport water. There are different recommendations for the number of days the fish should be starved before transport. It is common for the fish to be starved for a minimum of three days before well boat transport at temperatures above 6 degrees, and a minimum of five days at temperatures below 6 degrees. Before slaughter, the fish is normally starved for three days. Customer requirements, quality standards and internal procedures can set their own requirements for starvation days, and it is therefore important to check this before slaughter. The fish are normally starved before lice treatments and handling. With mechanical or thermal lice treatment, it is common for the fish to be starved for four days at temperatures below 6 degrees and for two days at temperatures above 6 degrees. For bath treatment, the fish should be starved for two days at temperatures below 10 degrees and for one day at temperatures above 10 degrees. When using medicated feed, the fish should be starved for one day. The fish are primarily starved to ensure a good appetite and therefore good consumption of the medicine in as large a part of the fish group as possible. Starvation times may vary in relation to these general recommendations. This may be due to the health status of the fish, weather conditions and internal requirements and routines. It is therefore important to familiarise yourself with the applicable requirements well in advance of handling the fish.